Hello, in this video I just installed um, CM11 onto my HTC One Max. Um, it's only got nightly builds, but it does have some builds. So I wanted to demonstrate um, what CyanogenMod looked like on an HTC One Max. Um, so we're waiting for it to load up. It can take a while. Okay, so um, it just loaded. I'm selecting English. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my Wi-Fi network. Um, Just because I never know how sometimes it's going to um, take to the uh, phone. So I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi password. It's a really, really long one. Okay. And then I'm going to say connect. Say connect it. Do you have a Google account? Yes, a Google account. I'm going to set up my Google account just because it makes life easier. Once we get into the ROM and we want to start seeing what it can do, um, it makes life easier to be signed into your Google account. You don't have network connection. Okay. Well, it says I'm connected. So, I do have network connection. I don't know why I was saying I didn't. giving me the message again so I can just you don't have network connection I don't know if there's a way out of this because it keeps just taking me back and forth can't uh, cancel says it couldn't sign in. Um, but I'm connected. So saying I don't have connection. I'm not sure why not. Okay, so it says next. Next. And it just keeps taking me into Let's see. I finally went through. Backup data, yeah. Um, accuracy, other purposes, Wi Fi. No, I don't like that one. Alright, I'm going to the next one. Nope, I don't want to do that either. I had enough notifications flashing on my phone all day, and to be getting notified every 10 minutes about something. 
So they say they're restoring the phone. So once I tell them that I want my phone to be backed up and my apps to be um, put back on the phone, this is what they do. So they say restoring. Okay, I want to see what's going on in the settings. Um, there's the Wi-Fi, wi the Bluetooth, mobile networks. Let's see if we go inside. Data enabled, data roaming, preferred network type. That's always important. Oh, wow, look at all these options. I don't even understand half this stuff. T D S D M A L T E C D M A E B D O G S M. I guess that's everything that's out there. You can just select it. Um, I like this L T E only um, option where you can just say, "Look, put me in L T E only," because, like, for instance, that'd be really good here at the house because um, both L T E and um, 3G a week, and so they constantly swip, swip swap back and forth. Um, so that would be good to kind of keep them from doing that. But I have never seen this many options. So I'm going to keep it at CDMA plus LTE plus EBDO, which um, I don't know what that is. Um, and then we have home on the lock screen we have themes I haven't downloaded any theme packs um, and then we have uh, icons I haven't downloaded any icon packs which would probably come with the themes fonts uh, same thing um, I could do a little bold thing here But it's not letting me select it, so I'm not really sure how that works. Yeah. And then you have your wallpapers, of course, which, you know, they're here. Oh, there's a bunch of different options for the wallpapers. See them wallpapers. Let's see what those look like. Oh, that's pretty funky. like that one too. We'll see them, you know, it's always kind of like a bluish greenish color. Well, I know this pink one. Mm, I like that one. They have quite a few. I'm not really into the nature wallpapers. But they have those. Um, boot animations. You can actually choose your different boot animations. Sound packs. I'm sure those are things you download. Um, notification drawer, sound, display and lights, buttons, storage, battery apps, profile, security, backup, Google Ding Time. And then you're going to have to go into your about phone and I thought it was base version that you tap. Uh, maybe build number. Yeah. And get it to say um, developer options. And then now you have developer options. And you can select uh, USB debugging. It's already selected. And it's on. So you have to still um, turn on USB debugging inside of the ROM once you get in. And it's got a lot of information in the settings. And of course we go to About Phone and we can see it's Cyanogen Mod version uh, 11 201 um, which stands for August the 15th, 2014. Uh, Android 4.4.4. .4 .4. Baseband version, kernel, 
is 3.4.8.2 build at say engine number one um, CPU memory build date build number so this is everything that's going on um, software wise with the ROM and it's still downloading so here it is it's installed all of my um, apps it's now three pages worth of apps um, well not three total pages but two pages and two extra apps where it was um, a little less than one page to start so it's installed them all I turned off the Wi-Fi and um, I find that the phone still works um, but it's not utilizing my um, my mobile data it's on um, I can show you here you see mobile data um, mobile networks data enabled um, data roaming even um, yes. home only change roaming um, preferred network type um, I changed it from which was here CDMA LTE to um, LTE W C D A thinking that that would do LTE it um, totally I don't know if you can see that but it leaves when I do LTE um, I lose signal if I do that I get signal but I don't get data um, <coughs> Then they have this one down here at the bottom that says that's preferred. Um, but if you look here, oh yeah, um, at my arrow I have no signal there, so that doesn't help me. Um, so. I don't know what that gives me, but that didn't give me anything either um, when I did this one. Um, as we see, I get bars. So I have um, it here, but then when I go to my browser, um, nothing comes up in my web pages. So um that is a major downfall with the app as you see nothing's coming up you put in web addresses and it just um, doesn't work so the only way that I can get the internet on this phone would be to be connected to Wi-Fi um, with this um, CM11 Cyanogen model ROM so it's not a keeper for me. I can make phone calls and um, as far as I know um, I could send text messages. Um, let me see if that works. Um, you just got a text from me? Yeah, so it makes phone calls and um, it sends text messages, um, but for whatever reason, it does not um, utilize the mobile data. Um, I can even maybe try installing a, um, oh, let me see. Oh, I thought it gave me my titanium backup. So I was going to say I can um, install a, another ROM. Let me try that. 